This is our extruder. The extruder will take your clay and extrude out coils. You can make the coils different sizes and shapes and um, it's just a lot easier and it's a lot faster to make consistent coils with this machine. Here's how you use it. The extruder is attached to the wall. There's a bottom piece like this and there are plates that you can put into this bottom piece. The bottom cap hooks on there and holds the plates in place while the clay gets squished through them. So say for example I would like to make a coil. I'm going to put this plate here and you can see there's a lot of choices of coils. I'm going to need to choose which one I want. I'll use this blue piece here to, to cover up the other ones that I don't want. So I'm going to place this in and I'm going to cover up everything except for the size coil that I want. You can see the thing is showing through right there. So once you've placed the plates in, you need to put the end cap on. You're going to hold it like this, come up underneath, and you can see there are little hooks right here and a knob, and you'll just turn it sideways and it rests on those two hooks. So the end cap is on, the plates are in there with the size that you want. Now your job is to fill it with clay. This mechanism right here normally is down inside. Right now it's, it's up at the top, which is where you want it to be. And we can turn it to the side here while we put clay. The clay must be wedged. And you can take it and put it in like this. When you're making coils, it's a good idea to fill this whole thing with clay. Right now I've only filled it halfway, but when you're making a lot of coils, you'll fill it all the way up to the top. Then you'll turn this handle towards the front. This plunger is going to go into the tube here and to get it to do that you're going to use this clutch. The clutch when it's at the top holds this up at the top and it won't fall down. Once you move this clutch to the bottom it's going to allow it to lower. So you'll move this to the bottom and you'll lower the plunger into the extruder. It's gone down about that far. It's hit the clay that's there. Once it's done that you'll take the handle and you'll lift the handle up. At this point, the handle is pushing the plunger down. So I'm gently pushing it. It's compressing the clay right now. It's not quite coming out as coils yet. All right, now it's a little bit stiff and that means that the coils are ready to come out. They're gonna come out from the bottom here and they're gonna land on this tray. It's a good idea to make sure the tray is clear of any old dried up clay. Take both hands, lift the, the handle up and pull down and your coil is going to come out. Once the coil is the length that you want, you'll break it off. And it's usually a good idea to carry your coil in a coil, like that. Set it aside, lift the handle up, pull down again, and you've got another coil, like that. Once you are finished making your coils, you need to remove the clay out of the machine and, and take this handle out. In order to do that, you're going to turn the clutch here back to the top because we're going to be going up. Push down on the handle and reverse the process. need to push up and to the top, okay? And you're going to see that this can turn to the side. Your extra clay might come up with it and that's okay. If you haven't used the extra clay, you'll put it in the bag and you'll use that again later. Then you take the end cap off and you'll find that the end cap has a, it gets a little messy. These pieces here, you want to make sure that you're cleaning them off carefully. Make sure they're clear of any excess clay and they go back in the bucket down here in the box. You can see where they're stored in this box. And the end cap is going to have clay that's stuck in here and it's important that we take that out. If it's wet, it'll come out pretty easy. If it's dry, you'll need to take a, a fettling knife or something like that and, and remove that clay. So you get it all out of there. Once that's cleaned up, put 
that back and you've made your coils.